Hey guys, welcome back to my studio. I have an art supply haul to share with you. Okay, so some of you may have noticed I did not film last week. That is because I had the flu. I'm still not completely recovered, but I am really tired of being sick. So I decided to just come in my studio and get something done. So here we are, and let's get started. Okay, the first thing I wanna share with you are three new mediums. Okay, the first medium is Airbrush Medium by Golden. Normally I use Liquitex Airbrush Medium, but I saw that Golden makes it, so I thought I'd pick it up. Okay, so what do I use Airbrush Medium for? If you add water to your acrylic paint, that's perfectly fine, but if you add more than 30% water to your paint, you're going to dilute the bonding agent to the point where it will no longer stick to your surface, whatever surface you use. But instead of water, if you add airbrush medium, since this does contain a bonding agent, you can get the same, um, the same effect of thinning down your paint uh, without the consequence of it not sticking anymore. I hope I explained that correctly. Anyway, so if you're having an issue with your paint, um, maybe you should try a little airbrush medium instead of water that might work for you. But anyway, that's why that's why I use this, and uh, and there you go. Okay, so the next medium I want to share with you is the High Flow Medium by Golden. Okay, so the reason I picked this up is because I absolutely love my high flow paint by Golden and I have kind of been getting away from my heavy body paint. I still use it but I have been um, using different mediums to kind of thin it out, give it more of a viscosity and so when I saw this I thought oh this is perfect. I'm going to use this to add more viscosity to my heavy body paint um, and so I can use it uh, with my Golden High Flow. I absolutely love Golden High Flow paint. It almost, it's not, it's not as um, fluid as an ink because it still it's heavily, heavily pigmented. But you still have that extreme, extremely fluid um, nature to the paint but very opaque. It's just fabulous. Love it. So I am going to use this with my heavy body uh, just to thin the paint down, add more viscosity. Okay, the next medium I have to share with you guys, this is so exciting. Okay, this is called Super Matte Medium by Golden. Okay, this is not like a regular matte medium. You, you do not use this like a regular matte medium. All this is, is super loaded matting agent. Okay, so it's called super matte medium, but it is a gloss reducing medium for acrylic colors. Okay, a lot of people I know, um, they like to paint with acrylic paint, but they don't like the shine that a lot of acrylic paint has. So what you do is add a little bit of this at a time. Don't add too much right away. I would get like a popsicle stick and stick into it and then, you know, mix it into your paint. But this will turn your paint matte. Okay, now Golden does make a matte paint. It's called Golden, I think it's called Golden So Flat. Um, and you can, but you can use this with any um, paint brand and you can, you know, bring it down to a matte paint. That is so exciting. I cannot wait to use this. So I, w I was really looking forward to sharing this product with you guys. And as always, I will leave links below in the description so you guys will know where to get all of these exciting things. Okay. So the next thing that I have, I picked up a couple more colors of the Neo colors, and let's swatch these real quick. Okay, how many colors did I pick up? I have five. Okay, I picked up five colors, and these are going to be added 
Do I have it over here? Oh, I, I think I might have it. Hold on. Here we go. Um, why don't... Do I have a pin? I know I have a pin around here somewhere. Oh, here's a pin. Okay, so these are the colors uh, that I swatched for you guys last time. I'm going to go ahead. I just happen to have this still sitting on my desk. Let's go ahead and swatch these new colors and add it to this swatch card. Okay, so I picked up um, a, a yellow ochre. It's just called ochre. Let's go ahead and swatch this here. Oh my gosh, the, the, these feel so good. Oh, oh, I'm so excited. Okay, let's go ahead and write down, um, write down the color. Okay, the next color that I picked up is English Red. See, I didn't have any reds on here. The reason I picked out these particular colors, and guys, let me show you this real quick. These were the colors of the Sennelier oil pastels that I picked out. And these were the colors for the Neo pastels. I got these specifically for doing landscapes. That was my thought process when I was picking out these colors. Okay, so this is English red. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Let me write that down. I have a great assortment of greens here. Oh, love it. Okay, here we have slate gray. Okay. And then, uh, this is called light beige. Ooh, that is a good color. Oh, I love it. Okay, and then I have a white. Guys, you know I'm not going to swatch white. It's just not even going to show up. So, those are the new colors I just picked out. Aren't they just beautiful just together? Look at that. Gorgeous. Oh, love it. Okay, so I move that aside. And that is the color palette of my Neo Pastels. And I'll just show you real quick again. And this is the color palette for the Sennelier. These are beautiful landscape. And guys, I, even though I love the Sennelier oil pastels, love them, I think I'm liking the Neo pastels better. These are really, really good. Really, really good. Okay, so let me put that aside. And I have one more thing to share with you. Okay, the last thing I have is I picked up a color palette of the Golden Fluid Acrylics. Okay, I've already told you guys how much I absolutely love the Golden High Flow paint. This is similar. It just is, it, it's almost like I would say a little bit, a little bit more fluid. I'm just going to get a thing so you guys can see the texture. It's a little bit more fluid. Let me take this cap off real quick. Than, um, than a soft body. Hold on. All right, let me grab a paintbrush to stick in. I'm just going to stick something in. Right, oh, oh, I'm making a mess. Okay, I hope you guys can see this. It's thinner. Oh, this color is just yummy. This is my absolute favorite color from, um, I'm just gonna make, I'm just gonna smoosh it around. This is my favorite color from Golden. I don't even have my water with me right now. Um, this is just so incredibly fabulous. It is, it's more fluid than a soft body. Oh, guys, I am just, I have been deprived of painting for a week because I was sick. I already painted something this morning in my studio, but I just want to get my hands in paint. And I have 
I have restrained myself from opening these because I wanted to share with these with you guys first. But um, I'm already absolutely loving the texture of this paint. Okay, so like I said, did I say it correctly? I'm going to try to say it again. These are a little bit more fluid than a soft body paint, but they're not as fluid as their high flow paint. It's kind of in that in between. Um, the texture's fabulous. The, the pigment is like super dense pigmented paint. Okay, I'm just going to share something with you guys. My favorite paint for acrylic paint used to be Liquitex. I still love Liquitex, but I have fallen completely in love with Golden. My new favorite acrylic paint is Golden. The high flow and now, oh my gosh, the, the fluid, just so fabulous. If you've never tried um, the golden high flow or the golden um, fluid paint, guys, you have to try just a little bit. Well, I don't want to tell you what to do. You do what you do. But you don't have to buy the big bottles. They sell them in small bottles so you can try them out. But they're so good. They're so good. So this is my this is my absolute top pick for acrylic paint. Now, if you're just starting out with acrylic paint, you don't have to spend the money uh, to get a professional um, acrylic paint and that high pigment load. Y you can totally start off with a less expensive acrylic paint that'll do the job and you'll have fun. But if you want to upgrade, if you're looking to make the leap to for a professional acrylic paint, this is it. This is the good stuff. Try Golden. It's so fabulous. I highly recommend Golden. Oh, oh, guys, I have to stop talking. I have to show you the colors I chose. Okay, so for my green, I chose Sap Green. This Golden makes the best Sap Green of any company any brand I've ever seen. Their sap green beats everybody else's sap green. This is so good. Okay, so of course I had to pick up a white. So I, I picked up a titanium white. Now I do have the golden black in one of these large jars. And guys, I use black so seldom that I will have that black for the rest of my life. So I, I'm not going to buy any more black. Okay, so I did pick up the white, and then I got Red Oxide. This is my favorite shade of red. It's just so earthy, and I am drawn to those colors. So the Red Oxide is just, that's, that's it. This is the red. Okay, next color I picked out was Yellow Ochre. I use this as my yellow. I'm not a yellow person. I don't, you know, those really bright, they do have them, guys. They do have all those really bright yellows. I'm not drawn to that kind of a yellow. I like this real earthy yellow. So I bought um, a yellow ochre. And then for my blue, I chose Prussian blue. Fabulous. And then, of course, I had to pick a brown. So I have uh, raw umber. So, uh, I don't know if I can fit all this on camera. I hope you guys can see, but, um, but this is the color palette that I've chosen, and I am thrilled. I could not be more happy with this color palette. And guys, you don't need a million colors. That's the mistake that I, you know, when I first started forever ago buying paint. I used to want every single color and I still do love, you know, when you get the sets and you get all the color, it's so exciting. But you don't need it. You really don't need it. Get one green, one red, one yellow, one, you know, just get one of each color family. Six colors is really all you need. So 
pick the colors you're drawn to mix the colors you really never ever needed to ever buy a purple you can mix it you know or you never need to buy an orange you just i i pass by orange and purple i never buy them because you, you can just easily mix your own so anyway um yeah that's the colors it's fabulous you don't need a million colors buy what you love i guess i've said everything right <laughs> All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it made some kind of sense because I still have delirious from being sick. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.